Hey everybody, I'm Dave Caddy, the Food Dude, here at the Oklahoma Studios, here today to talk about thirst for a cause. We got Alex Kroblin, we got Allie Day, we got Kurt Fleischfresser, that's a mouthful. Yeah. Hey, not bad, not, not my first time. Okay, guys, thanks so much for coming by to tell me about this great event. Thirst, it is, now wait a minute, it's the 10th annual, but the 12th year, right? Well, the 12th year that we've had 30 or so winemakers come to Oklahoma City for the event, and, and we also do one over in Tulsa. That event is for the trade, yeah. which is how the event originated. And then purely out of sort of a, a need, uh, 10 years ago, Thirst for a Cause came about. Yeah, of that. two years into it, you know, we should call this something. And and uh, maybe make a little money, right? Yeah, exactly. For, for folks. I, exactly, exactly. So th we, we this was even prior to Obamacare, but at the time there mm -hmm. were you know, we call on restaurants all over the state of Oklahoma and deal with some of the best and most hardworking people in the industry. And more often than not, they don't have health insurance. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, it, 10 years ago, uh, there was a specific need, like I said, that arose um, from someone who was working at uh, Oak Tree, ah. who uh, was going through uh, leukemia. Oh, just man. been diagnosed with stage four leukemia. Uh, she, her family lived in France. She didn't have anyone here to support her. and so. We thought, well, we've got all these winemakers in town. Let's uh, let's see if we can throw a fundraiser. Yeah. And it started with that. And since then, we've been able to do some really, really good things for people in the industry who've had wow. a uh, financial hardship due to a medical crisis. Well, that's really cool. So, you know, I mean, it's a wonderful thing, a wonderful cause. But it wouldn't. What makes it so great is is this wine, right? I mean, you guys have a lot of great right. stuff. Guys, take take me through. What what can people expect when they go go to Thirst? So it's it's a walk around event. There are mm -hmm. ten restaurants there serving food, which we'll talk about. Mm -hmm. But like you said, the main event is wine. The winemakers mm -hmm. who are there, and so these are these are actually people from the wineries mm -hmm. and the importers who come in from all over the country and all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we have uh, forty different uh, wineries or importers, over two hundred different wines. You can walk around. The room, the event uh, lasts for two and a half hours, so probably maybe not enough time to try all of them. But we're also saving you from yourself. Um, <laughs> well, maybe if you had a bird, you could. <laughs> you, hey, you, that's right. If you had a bird, it'd be good. But uh, but it's it's a really really great uh, opportunity to talk to the people who actually made the wines and to taste it um, with them. So I think it's 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 always great to go into restaurants and get turned on to new things. But this is I think a little bit more interactive. Yeah. So, Allie, what are you going to be drinking on Thursday? On, 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 I'm sorry, Christmas for winos? Is that, is that, <laughs> well, is that what we're calling it? It's called? affectionately being called <laughs> yes. by people in the trade. Yeah. Uh, well, there's some longtime favorites that will be there. Raptor Ridge, Elise, uh, but some newcomers as well. So we've got Dana Estates that I'll be trying, Spotswood, Sturm, uh, Argo. Yeah, some natural wine producers. So uh, something for everyone. And for the first time ever, um, we're actually going to have s some non-wine. So if you, if you, if you're, you know, 99.9% .9 of the, the, the everything there will be wine. But if if you if you don't like wine, come on out for the cider. We got some, <laughs> some great some natu cider. natural ciders and Excellent. we have some sake and some sake, some, yeah. some great sake too. Yeah. That's, well, that's good. We got changes to the to the liquor laws, and so you know who knows? Maybe all these things will be now available thanks to you guys. We're breaking down walls, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kurt. You know, I know you will be right lined up wherever this stuff is. <laughs> this is okay, but, yeah. uh, but, uh, and in regards to what Alex said, it's all about the food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, people are coming out for the food, and then they get wine to wash it down with. And yes. it's going to be, you know, this is, everybody kind of wants to get in here. So yes. we actually make people rotate out every once in a while. Is that right? You know, but there's great restaurants there. A couple standouts would be Vast and Sushi Neko. <laughs> oh. uh, really? I just, I you like those, do you? But yeah. And then, uh, but it's, it's, this is great. I love this event because there's so many friends to Oklahoma, like Annie Shell yeah. and, and Ray Corson and all these people. And more than likely, they come away with a few more friends from Oklahoma. So next time you see them, you walk up and say hi, and they know who we are. they get got great memories, and they have, they're really very attached to Oklahoma and helping us too. So, well, we are attached and uh, to them and very excited for them to come. But we need to know where is this thing going to happen and you know what are the details. How do you get into this thing? So it's the same place that it's been the last, let's say, eight years or so. It's at 4040 North Lincoln Boulevard. Um, one change is that that used to be called the Jim Thorpe Museum and Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame, and yes. it's no longer called that. So, um, if you just type 4040 North Lincoln into your Google Maps. It will take you there, or just tell your Uber driver, which I highly recommend. <laughs> yes, Uber or Lyft. Yes. Um, 
Yes. And it's at 4040 North Lincoln. So uh, you really, really accessible from Edmond, from Norman, from Oklahoma City. Are we going to be auctioning the naming rights to the venue for next year, perhaps? Mm -hmm. That's a great <laughs> idea. We, well, let's see if we can get a winery to step up and do that. That's right. We, we <laughs> Thirst for a Cause just hit the next level. Well, That's and right. um, speaking of auctioning, there's, there's other items yeah, there, great there deals that you can get, capture. and, and uh, We have, yeah, we have a great wine pool. And, um, you know, you go to some of these events and they're all for a good cause. But sometimes you go to the wine pool and you pay 20 bucks to get a $4 wine. Um, every wine in the wine pool at ours is from a vintner who's in the room. And so Outstanding. You, 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 there's nothing even close to $20 in terms of price. It's all way well above that. So it's a great deal to begin with there. We have plenty of great silent auction items. All of the wineries have, have shipped out um, special bottles that they're donating uh, to help raise money again for, for these great employees. It's great. Well, and it, just to reiterate, I mean, the, this, this money's actually saved at least two lives that we know mm -hmm. of. Yeah. And, it, and it, if the cases it didn't save lives, it made people actually like lead more difference. normal knives, lives when they yeah. had a, a severe medical. We, we actually spend the money right directly to the source of wherever they need to help, the help from. We don't give it to somebody and let them right, do something. Right, right, so, yeah, disperse uh, and, and, and a lot of people may, may make the difference between their kids getting their school supplies or whatever because we picked up something else. So from, the, from helping just a regular quality life to saving lives, I mean, it's a pretty big deal, I think. It is, and there's been a ton of money raised over the years, and for that, we thank you guys. This year's, all right, the date? Uh, Wednesday, August 15th. That's right. 2018 at 4040 North Lincoln. That's right. Thirst for a Cause. You can find tickets at thirstforacause.com or okrestaurants.com. Yeah, or maybe it's okrestaurants.org. Just go to thirstforacause.com. <laughs> You'll get it there. Or you can call 942 All right, and last question. What, what, what time of day are we, we talking about? Sorry, uh, 6.30 to 9. 6.30 to 9. All right, Thirst for a Cause, folks. You don't want to miss it. Thanks. Thanks, Dave.